Greetings and salutations, I am Skojo in 360. Welcome to the ultimate beginner's guide to 360 video. What you're gonna see now is actually just a sub chapter of a much larger series. So if you have more questions, wanna keep going on the deep dive, check out the rest of the videos in the series. Please subscribe and ring the bell for my channel. Let's get to your chapter and welcome to the 360 community. Well, of course, it wouldn't make a lot of sense to do the ultimate beginner's guide to 360 video without answering the question, what is 360 video? 360 video is what I think one of the biggest moves forward in filmmaking and storytelling literally in the history of the world. I put it up there with the invention of TV. Uh, it is a visual medium that is unlike anything else. Up until now, we've been using a lens on a camera shooting 24 frames per second, and it's worked out pretty good. But then over time, with technology coming around and smart brains thinking of smart things, suddenly they came up with the concept of why don't we just put a lens on one side of a camera and a lens on another side. They will shoot, eh, let's say, 200 degrees around, and then we can stitch them together, and we have a full 360 video. Genius! Now, 360 video has been around in its infancy since, as I recall, even the early parts of the millennium, but it's only been within the last few years that things have really picked up where it's accessible to the average consumer. We have cameras now that you can get for about a hundred bucks, and it does shoot 360 video. 360 video is great for grabbing every perspective all around you. It gives you all kinds of movement in the edit bay, and it doesn't just come as a file that's fully immersive. You can actually do what they call reframing 360 video, which we will get into in another chapter, where it, you can make a traditional video out of the 360 video. So 360 video is 360 video, but it's also flat traditional video too, if you want to reframe it and cut it up that way. Now 360 video, of course, comes with its challenges. I mean, you have got a camera that is picking up everything, and sometimes getting that to be narrowly focused down into a story you can tell can be a little bit difficult. But thankfully, a lot of the prosumer and consumer level cameras are coming with apps, with editing software. There are plugins for Premiere, there are plugins for Final Cut, if I heard correctly. So we are starting to see a lot more accessibility of 360 video and video editing. So what is the first question you should ask before you get into 360 video? Let's talk. I hope you enjoyed what you saw. If you did, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like the video, and ring the bell. I am Skojo in 360. We'll catch you on the next video, and we will end it like we always do. 